welcome back welcome back to my channel you guys this design was specifically for valentine's day but i think it can be you know worn all year round so if you would like to see how i achieve this look then just keep on watching So this is the system that I'm going to be working with today. It is the Mia Secret system. And um, here I'm just swatching the different acrylic powders that I got. Alright, so I learned this trick on how to pour monomer in the dappin' dish um, in school. So, yeah, we're just going to swatch that first color. I honestly don't remember which one that is. I think that's the um, beige. But yeah, they look really similar, like, until you put it on the actual paper towel. So yeah, I'm just deciding which one I want to use, which one would, you know, go better with the look. And I ended up choosing that one. <laughs> so here I'm going to go in with the Mia Secret Primer. And I do like to apply that all over the um, my natural nail and the nail tip just so that, um, you know, you can get some adhesion on the nail tip as well. So I apply that on all nails and then I go in and redo it, um, you know, right before I lay the acrylic bead. So this is not really a tutorial for um, like how I lay the acrylic. It's just really like showing y'all the process of um using the mia secret powders because um this isn't my first time using it but i really do like their powders and um i was i've never used it with the um the liquid so that was also and the primer so that was also um why i sh i showed you guys this part it was a little bit runny um or i put i guess i put too much either one whatever but that's how i lay the bead and please excuse my table i had just got the stuff out of storage and i hadn't like wiped off the acrylic paint yet but yeah um i guess i need another bead towards the tip and yes, I did uh, bedazzle my own brush. They're not Swarovski's because I didn't want to use those expensive as um, jewels. Dang, okay, four beads. I didn't want to use those expensive behind jewels on this brush, especially, and y'all see they coming off. So, yeah, this is the um, Young Nails brush. Um, I really like it. I haven't really, the other brushes that I've used, I just, like, got from my, nail supply store i don't think they were really a brand or whatever i just asked for a brush but yeah i finished applying the acrylic and shaped and filed them um off camera so now i'm gonna go in with this polish ouch i just ripped a lash off and it hurts really bad
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with this polish and that's gonna be the base for the design. And I really like this polish. I don't think I use it enough, but it's so sparkly and so pink and so cute. Alright, so I got this airbrush machine off of um, Amazon, and this is how I, you know, get my colors ready. They do have, like, actual airbrush colors that you can use, but the last time I used, like, a pre-mixed color with this machine, it literally got clogged. Like, I cleaned it and everything, and it literally stopped working. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the gel polish and acetone mixture because that doesn't seem to give me problems. But, um, yeah, so I'm not a big pro on airbrush. I just, like, do it till, like, I get the color. But I guess I was holding it too close or something because y'all see them bubbles? I don't know. I don't know why it was doing that. I tried to, like, wipe it with some alcohol. Maybe I thought it was like the inhibition layer from the polish, but it still had bubbles after that. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know what was going on, but I think maybe I was holding it too close to the nail. I'm guessing because I don't know. I mean, it still turned out cute. Don't get me wrong, but it was just aggravating. Say I'm doing that pink. I, I think I was definitely holding it too close. But yeah, I'm doing that pink um, first. Just going to get a good coat on there. And give that a cure. And then I went in with another coat as well, um, I guess to try to like cover up the bubbles. The only thing about airbrushing is that you have to clean it, like with every color, because you don't want, you know, the other, the other color to mix in with the color you just used. I mean, it's easy to clean it, it's just like a task. You just like run um, acetone through it till it, um, you know, it's clear. But yeah, these are the colors I'm gonna mix to get the perfect purple. Honestly, this right here by itself is so freaking cute. Like with some um, cuticle rhinestones, that would be so cute. Or maybe some pearls. I wish I hadn't taken the purple down so far, but it's gonna all come together, so it's okay. So here I'm using the eye gel white, and I'm gonna start making my designs. And 
and um i got these brushes in a um a set and i love them because they come with caps on them so it's not just you know the brush now i did have to take my uh cuticle nippers and uh, clip off some of the bristles so that is thin they did come kind of thick but i don't mind that um you know just to get the perfect um, thinness that I like for my liner brushes so yeah we're gonna draw the hearts make sure it's you know looking good when I do clean up see that's what I do to like clip some of the bristles off this is the nails by dev um, baby brush or something like that um, and it didn't have a cap for it so she got a little bruised because i've been moving around but we cleaned her up a little bit with some cuticle nippers but as i was saying um when i do clean up um a design i do take acetone instead of alcohol because i feel like acetone gets it like easier or faster i don't really like cleaning up with alcohol but yeah um i did try to like fade it because i wanted that like airbrush heart look but um yeah i don't think that was very successful but i still did it just because you know whatever i wanted that look using my dotting tool to do those starlet things and honestly these with these they just take time but I basically don't breathe every single time I do a brush stroke and I'm so serious like it's just a little flick but I don't breathe <laughs> I don't breathe because I don't want it to be too thick sometimes like if I do breathe I'll draw, the, I'll draw the line really long or like super thick and I'm just like, see, this is why I don't breathe. But yeah, um, what am I doing here? I don't know. I'm carrying it. <laughs> All right, see. Okay, so yeah, we're drawing more, more hearts. And honestly, when I'm doing like certain designs, I still don't breathe. Like I'll hold my breath while I'm drawing my lines. So like every time I get more polish is when I take a breath. But nine times out of 10, I'm not breathing. I'm holding my breath so that I'm not shaking too much. I have my hand, you know, my pinky, um, what is that called? Like popped up or like stabilized, whatever, on my other hand. So, you know, I have a little bit more stability, but yeah, that's, that's a little trick. Don't breathe. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, the big heart gets a little baby heart by it and we're going to continue with this blending it out method and i do apologize for the angle of this i know that um, it's not really in frame. I do not have the proper, like, 
phone mount or whatever for overhead um, videos. So I'm just, you know, trying to make shit shake. So excuse me being out of frame in a few of these shots, but you know, we, we still got the content. We still got the shot. That's all that matters. to draw the zebra lines add a little bit of detail and I'm adding some dots to give it more of like a sparkly vibe and more zebra lines zebra lines for everyone now I didn't record it or I didn't um show it on the video but I did go in and add more uh, lines to the other hearts so here i'm just adding a little bit of clear top coat to the pink to give it that um sheer sheerness to kind of give the hearts that like glow effect if you guys know what i'm talking about see how it's like pink but like glow you know yeah and it started to fall down on my nail it's it's gonna get worse than that but it's okay it is okay so i did that on the hearts and then i'm gonna go in and do a few lines on the zebra print Then I added some jewels, and here we are with the final look. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Stay sweet and stay blessed. Bye!